Well, hello there. How is everyone? I hope you are all well. You're amazing, amazing, beautiful, wonderful people. You're looking absolutely amazing on this fantastic, terrific Tuesday afternoon. And guess what? We're not, I repeat, not talking about the Idaho 4 case in this video, even though it does have some crossovers, because it will hopefully by the end of this video, you'll see that corruption does exist and there isn't really anything done about it. So there's not really anything to avoid it happening in the future or even to tell people that, look, this is something that you should not be doing. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about Louisville. And what well, he's not a person, that's a place, Kentucky. And the guy's name is Mark Handy. Now, Mark Handy was a cop. He was a cop. And some people respected him. He was a hero to some. Prick to others. Because some people ended up getting put away for decades of their life because he was a liar. And he got caught. I'm going to read you some notes on it, okay? And prepare to, to prepare to be shocked. So Mark Handy, ex-LMPD detective, whose lies send innocent men to prison, is released early from jail. Released early. Now, I know what you're thinking there. You think, well, he's obviously... If he's lost people decades of their life, and let's not forget, two of these sued them, and they got a $20 million payout. $20 million. Just think what would happen to you if you cost the government $20 million. Say in tax evasion. Do you know what I mean? Something like that. What would happen if you evaded tax to the sum of $20 million? Or you stole $20 million? Or you did something that cost someone $20 million that was criminal? Stick a pin in it. So, Louisville, Kentucky. 17 days... 17 days, and you're thinking already, what's he talking about 17 days? What could this be? 17 days into a one-year sentence. That's right. So he gets caught. Obviously, he's taking a plea deal. Plead guilty, and we'll sort you out. He got a year for each of these cases to run concurrently, so he would only do a year, but walked out of jail 17 days after walking in. I shit you not. 17 days into his one-year prison center sentence, a former LMPD detective walked out of jail on Friday. Mark Handy, who accepted a plea deal following multiple admissions of wrongdoing in three murder investigations, was released from the Meade County Jail and will serve out the rest of his sentence at home. Handy pleaded guilty on May the 11th to charges of perjury and tampering with evidence. Each charge carried a one-year prison sentence, but the penalties were to run concurrently. Handy was at the centre of three homicide cases, which resulted in four overturned convictions. In each of those cases, it was alleged that Handy acted inappropriately during investigations. Even the Kentucky Supreme Court acknowledged Handy lied under oath in court documents. Keith West, Jeffrey Clark and Edwin Chandler all were wrongfully convicted and sent to prison, eventually released and exonerated after years of being incarcerated. This doesn't talk about it, but yeah, they were actually given $20 million. Um, this is an absolute affront to Handy's victims. The criminal justice system and encourages officers in Kentucky to continue committing misconduct without fear of any meaningful incarceration. Attorney Elliot Slozer, who represents West, said in a statement to Wave Free News, Handy was indicted on charges of perjury and tampering with evidence in September 2018. Following several investigations by Wave Free News, troubleshooters, the stories prompted the Louisville Metro Council to ask the Kentucky Attorney General's office to appoint a special prosecutor to investigate Handy. Handy's attorney, Brian Butler, said that Friday's ruling to release his client came with good reason. What fucking good reason? It is common for low-level, non-violent offenders to be released on home incarceration based upon state budgetary issues as well as overcrowding issues, Butler said. Or maybe there wouldn't be funding issues if you didn't have pricks like this costing the government 20 million for lying to put them in fucking prison. And perhaps there'd be more space in prisons if people didn't keep putting fucking wrong people in there and all. It's the circle of life. Anyway, ran over.
there you go. What do you think to that then? So this, when people turn around, don't they? They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear that there are people out there who do bad things with a badge. There are some fantastic cops, and I've said this before, there's some fantastic law enforcement, like there's some fantastic nurses, but there are still Lucy Letbys. There's fantastic doctors, but there's still Harold Shipmans. There's still fantastic presidents, but then there's Joe Biden. <laughs> Look, I, I said that because I thought that, yeah, I don't even know. You know, I know the Trump-Biden thing, but I'll, I'll leave that alone. Um, at the end of the day, whatever walk of life that you guys have, whatever walk of life there is, there are going to be good and bad. And when it comes to law enforcement, again, not only are there very good people, there are very, very bad people. And the entire system is structured as a results, you know, they want results. And how their, I would say that their salaries are incentivized towards results. I know they are in the UK, we have people who will outly go out and sit there and wait for people to commit specific crimes because that's the target that they're low on for the month. But, um, you know, where's the justice in it? So when we talk about the Idaho 4 case and we talk about the Delphi case and the many, many other cases that are out there, and we talk about all the mere hint of police corruption or things not being done right or, you know, victims being tampered with, evidence being tampered with. Don't think it doesn't happen, because it does happen. I have law enforcement in my family, and they're not fantastic. They're not good people. And I will say that because that's the truth. And nothing can be done with me telling the truth. Bollocks to them. But anyway... You enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. If you didn't see video one earlier, go and check it out. And I will catch you all in the next one.